Good morning, Dolphins. Miss Herring here with your Friday Art Challenge. I hope that you have the following materials ready to go, and if you don't, pause the video after I give the list so you can get them. You'll need a pair of scissors, paper, any kind of paper will do. I've got white computer paper, whatever you have at your house is fine, and if you've saved them up, some junk mail. We're going to cut it up and use it for weaving. So let's get started with learning how to cut your own loom. I'm choosing to start with the junk mail because I don't have a ton of paper at my house and I don't want to use up good paper if I feel like I might make a mistake. So I'm going to start with junk mail. You can start with whatever you'd like. What I like about the junk mail is it comes pre-folded. So I'm going to take one piece and pull the inside pages out and then I'm going to lay it down in front of me so that the crease is facing my body and the open part is facing away from me. So if you're starting with your own paper and not junk mail, you'll want to fold it in half so that the open part's away from you. The next thing I want to do is take a little bit of the open side and fold it back to give myself a line where I tell myself to stop cutting. Right now, we're going to be cutting our paper to create the warps or the vertical part of our loom. Now I'm going to get ready to cut, but before I do, I want to visualize where the center of this is. So I'm going to go to the center with my finger and I'm going to imagine that my finger is the scissors or a knife and I'm just going to cut all the way up to the folded part and then stop. If you need to visualize that a few times, do it. Now you're ready to cut. All the way up to the line and stop. So what we've got now is like a big pair of fat pants. We've cut our paper in half and ultimately we want to have eight sections. So we're going to go to one side of the pants and cut from the middle to the top and to the other side from the middle to the top and stop. Now we have fourths, four equal pieces. As you can see, I have taken the cut all the way up to the stop line. Now I'm ready to go to each of these pieces and cut from the bottom all the way to the stop line. One, two, three, four times. Go ahead and do that now on yours. And if you make a mistake, it's junk mail, so you can get a fresh piece and start over. All right, our loom is finished. Now we just need to open it up. I like to keep it so that the folded part, the mountains are up high, so that it's easy for us to lift the different warps up and thread our paper through. Now we need to make some wefts. Those are the pieces that are gonna go through as we weave. So all those pieces of mail that you took from inside the junk trailer, go ahead and stack them together, maybe two or three pieces, and then cut your wefts. Now you can totally choose what size you wanna cut them. If you want your pieces to be really big, make them in a wide cut. If you want your pieces to be really skinny, cut them to be skinnier. You can have some pieces that are really thin and some pieces that are really wide. Totally up to you. It's your choice. Now that I have my wefts ready, I'm ready to start weaving. And you'll remember that weaving is just following a simple pattern of over, under, over, under, or opposite, under, over, under, over. I'm going to start with going over, lifting my second warp and pulling it under. Next is over, lift and under, over, lift and under, over, lift and under. And I'm going to end by taking that weft and sliding it down to the bottom of my paper where it catches. 
Now, that first row, I chose to start with an over and then move to an under. You'll find that if you follow the exact same pattern, that's not gonna work because your second row will slide down on top of your first row. And you don't want it to slide, you want it to lock in place. So the next row needs to be the opposite. If your first row started over, the next row must start with an, that's right, an under. So I'm gonna go under, over, lift, under, over, lift, under, over, lift, under, over. When I get to the end, I'm ready to slide it down. My first row was over, my second row started under, and now I'm ready to go back to a row that is, that's right, over. All right, so when you're all done and you pick it up, everything's locked into place and it's not gonna slide around. If you want it to be permanently in that position, you can lift up the ends and put a little glue under there, but you certainly don't have to. If you want to use your junk mailers in combination with a piece of plain paper, you can end up with a kind of cool effect there. And this one has rows that were cut with a wave. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, but I will show you how to cut that if you wanna have kind of an op art effect with wavy lines in it. All you'll have to do then is start with your paper folded, fold the edge over to make sure you've got that line to tell yourself to stop. You're gonna cut from the crease side, and if you wanna have that wavy effect, then you need to cut wavy lines. It's as easy as that. So going through and cutting lines with a little bit of curve to them, You could do zigzag, you could make it look however you want, but if you put some curve into your lines, then you will end up with that kind of effect. You can also make some of your sections a little bit skinnier and some of them bigger if you want to really emphasize that effect that you have going on there. So if you wanna change up the way your weaving looks, you can certainly do that by cutting your paper in a different way. And there's really not a limit to what you can choose to do with that if you want to give it that kind of off art effect here. Obviously, you don't have to repeat this with junk mail. It's a great way to practice if you feel really confident in your skills and you're ready to use some nicer quality paper go for it. I can't wait to see what you weave. And the cool thing about weaving is once you understand the concept, you can weave with a ton of different materials. You can weave long pieces of grass and leaves even if you want to weave with materials that you find in nature. And pretty much anything that you can cut and bend and fold is a material that you'll be able to weave with. I hope you have a great weekend and can't wait to see what you make. Bye dolphins.